Dearest Kelly, you don't know how much I need to hear you say these words. Just tonight, I was attacked so viciously. It's the third time in a week, and it's coming from believers who say they serve Yahushua. Tonight, I confess to you, I wept because I was attacked and called godless because of my gift, my picture, because I have long blonde hair and wear makeup. It hurt so much, and I wept, and Yahushua said nothing to console me. That just made me feel worse. Then when I said, Yahushua, don't you care that I am hurting? I only want to be a blessing to your people. Why do they attack me so? Why are you silent? I don't know why I'm telling you this. I didn't think I would tell anyone because I'm so embarrassed. Strange, I feel the anointing come upon me to speak these words. Yes, I care. And the reason I'm not speaking is because I am weeping with you. Because I send you to my people to be a blessing, and some have treated you as a curse. But I, Yahushua, am also sent as a blessing, and how many treat me as a curse. I weep with you, and for you, and for those that know better, yet touch my anointed messengers anyway. Though they have been warned, I weep for what my children who call themselves by my name do to each other. The covetous, the jealousy, the mistrust, the accusations, the unlove and hatred, the lies that are told to one another. They put my name on the lie as if I have spoken it. I weep for my heart breaks. For there is so much immaturity even in the mature Christians. The prophets have been alone for so long. They have been rejected so many times. They now only know how to reject and isolate one another. Though my desire in these end times is for you all to join together in my name. In one accord. In these end times, this bickering and squabbling must stop. You, my apostles, prophets, teachers, and evangelicals and pastors, must be in one accord. You are my end time army, all fivefold ministries. You must stop isolating yourselves and come together in my love. You must stop inflicting mortal wounds upon one another's spirit. You must stop inflicting mortal wounds upon one another's spirits and start binding up the wounds you have caused amongst yourselves I weep for all of you for all of you have been hurt by someone who said they were of my spirit yes you the majority have and it's rare if you say you haven't been deceived by the enemy coming at you disguised as a sheep but a wolf instead out to devour my flock but you cannot continue to devour one another I won't allow it I am speaking forth again out of my handmaiden to tell you I am not only weeping for what is to become of the enemies of the gospel, but I am weeping for you, my children, for the way you treat one another is not of my loving spirit at all. Does not my word say, by this you shall know them, that the love they have for one another do you realize it is the enemy that comes at you and says these evil things to stir up my warriors to fight amongst themselves and not to join in together fighting the enemy but thinking they can do it all alone does not my word say I put a thousand to flight. How many more demons will be put to flight if you join together and not against each other? This is what divided Gideon's army, the discord they had for one another. This is what divided many armies. You are in the great I am's army. You are the end time battalion I have hand chosen. Yes, the enemy has you deceived. Get over it. I was betrayed by Judas. Do I treat everyone like a Judas? No, I was denied by Peter. 
Do I deny you? No. Stop this now. One more time, I choose to speak forth and say the end is in sight. If you only could see how close my coming is, whatever you have been called to do, do it now. With all that I have equipped you with, there are spiritual gifts locked within yourselves that you know not. You are to stir up one another's gifts, not stir up one another's anger. You are angering me when you do this. You are not fighting for me. You are fighting against me. If you're not for me, you're against me. Stop judging one another by their appearance. How many times must I repeat myself? Why won't you listen? Why do you think you're better than another? Because of the color of skin or race, outward appeal or appearance? Do you not yet understand? How long must I strive with you? The enemy divides you, even before I can join you together. But don't think you're indispensable, for I will raise up other warriors to take your place. This is your last chance. Repent. Not all of you have the same gifts. I have given unique gifts to a select few. Don't touch my anointed. Don't do my prophets any harm. Yes, judge what is spoken. Does it line up with the holy word? Is it in context or is it taken out of context? You shall know. But stop silencing my prophets. Stop silencing my apostles. Stop telling them they will fail, for the task is too big, and they must not be hearing from Yahweh and Yahushua. Stop putting me in a box. Am I not the God of the impossible? Is anything too hard for me? Why do you convince them they will fail, when I have said they will succeed? Stop discouraging those you should be encouraging. Isn't their job hard enough? Don't they take enough abuse from the enemy? Must it come from those who should be loving, supporting, helping, and praying for their success? Am I not the author and finisher of their faith, your faith? If I told you to do something, though others tell you it's impossible, this is when you know I have spoken it. Once again, I took control of this handmaiden and anointed her to speak the words I wanted her to say. She is my mouthpiece. Peace. I allowed her to be hurt so she could speak forth these words. Remember, do I not say, the greater the anointing, the greater the persecution? But the persecution does not come from me, but from the enemy that wants to discourage you. The persecution comes right from my own servant's mouths toward one another. I am going to start judging harshly, for judgment starts at the house of Yahweh, and I have four warned you once again. I am about to remove those that I had ordained and called, because they seek to destroy those I have ordained in knowing with their forethought and malice in their hearts, though they have no doubt they speak in my behalf, have sought their destruction. Instead, I say, destruction shall come upon their own blossom. It will return back to themselves. You have been warned! First I weep, then I am angry, but you don't want to see your commander-in-chief angry. Trust me, I was only that lamb slain for the world once. I am no longer that meek and mild lamb, but I come like a lion from the tribe of Judah. I must get my church ready without spot or wrinkle. All delay must end. Do what you know to do and do it quickly. Those you have offended counsel, don't bring me offerings and sacrifices till you repent for the evil many of you have done in my sight. Repent before me, and repent before your brothers and sisters, your fellow warriors of Yahushua Mashiach. You have been warned. Don't make me repeat myself. Love one another. 
For this you prove your love me, and you are proving you love and serve me above all else. Don't call me Lord if you do not obey me. Don't say you love me if you do not obey me, for a Lord is a master. Ruler, and how can you call me Lord if you are not obeying me? Love one another. This is my command to each of you. Stand together and fight for holiness. Stand together and fight unholiness. In my power, in my word, in my name, under my anointing, through my blood, will you be more than conquerors through Yahushua HaMashiach, your master. But you must join together. No believer is a chain, merely a link in a golden chain. Some bigger links than others, but you still need need one another in this chain that will bind Slewfoot up and cast him in the lake of fire at his appointed time. Remember, I am for you. All of heaven stands at my command. You will not fail unless you choose not to listen to the words that I have spoken this day. But even then, I will not fail, for I am not a God who can fail. I will only raise up more end-time troops to take your places. You will not fail as long as you heed the words spoken forth this day through my handmaiden, Sherry Elijah. Those that have spiritual ears to hear will listen. All others will remain deaf. So it is said and recorded on this day. Blessings or curses will come your way. Depending on what you do with this prophecy this day, repent now, my children, before it's too late. Given the prophet Sherry Elijah, March 12, 1997.